hello and welcome back to my channel thanks for sticking around even though I haven't posted in like probably over a month oops anyway um, I have today an April book haul it's kind of April and March but mostly April so I just kind of squished them all together so I'm gonna start with the new books that I bought because I didn't buy very many I mostly buy used books and so I'll do the new ones first then the used ones so let's get started. First new book I bought is actually one of my favorite books I've read so far this year and it is The Haters by Jesse Andrews. If you don't know who Jesse Andrews is he wrote Me, Earl and the Dying Girl which is one of my all-time favorite books and this one is now one of my all-time favorite books. I bought this the day it came out which I don't really do um, but I really like this so yeah I like that one a lot. The next new book I bought is User of a Drink by Mamrie Hart. This is like a, I wouldn't call it a memoir, it's kind of just a collection of stories of her life and her crazy like boozy misadventures and tales of debauchery. That's a pretty good description. Um, I love this book, I love Mamrie, so this is a great book. The next new book I bought is The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith, who is J.K. Rowling. This is the second book in the Cuckoo's Calling um, series and it was like five bucks at Barnes & Noble on Bargain, so I picked it up. The next new book I, I also got at Barnes & Noble on Bargain, and that is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I know this is a thriller and that's about it. I know a lot of you will really like it, and I saw it for about six bucks, so I just grabbed it. The next new book I got is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dower. This is just a dust jacket because I'm uh, reading it right now. Um, it's about, I think, I think, World War II. I'm not very far into it. I guess we'll find out. I also got Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetti. This is a World War II novel. I do know that. Um, I have two other of her books, but I've never read either of them. I just heard a lot of good things about this, so I got it while it was on sale. Next is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. This was the March um, uppercase book. Got the book plate in it. Um, I haven't read this yet. It's a retelling of something. The cover's really pretty. I want to read it. There you go. Boom. The next book I have is This Is Where It Ends by Marike Nishkamp. Not sure that's right. This is about a school shooting. That's all I know. I really wanted to read this, so I got it. My next new book is Scarlet Epstein Hates It Here by Anna Breslau. This is the April uppercase book. This is also the dust jacket because I'm reading it. I really like it so far. It's about a girl who writes fanfic and her like favorite show that she writes fanfic about ends. So yeah, I like it. Second to last new book, new book I got is actually a cookbook and it is Cravings by Chrissy Teigen. I have wanted this book for so long. And I finally just came and got it because I love Chrissy Teigen and I've seen these recipes like on Instagram and they looked so good, so I just got it. And the last new book I got is a Harry Potter Magical Places and Creek Characters coloring book. I already had the other two. I didn't know they made this one, so I saw it and I grabbed it. So now I have all three of the Harry Potter coloring books. Okay, now I'm going to do my used books and I have seriously so many. So I'm not really going to say much about any of them. I'm just going to kind of flash and go. Just like my motto in life, flash and go. Here we go. I have Teas by Amanda Maciel. Maciel? Oh, I'm sorry. Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. This is The Gospel of Winter by Brendan Keeley. I know this is about like abuse in a church and this really interested me at Half Price Books so I grabbed it. Everyone knows this book but it is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Then I have another Morgan Matson. This is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour. Another Morgan Matson is Since You've Been Gone. This is The Great Gatsby, but it has like illustrated images in it to kind of evoke like the feeling of the time that it was written. So it's got like artwork and stuff. And I thought that was pretty cool because The Great Gatsby is my favorite book of all time. So I have This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. The Bees by Laylene Paul, which is a book from the like the viewpoint of bees, which I think was like really cool. Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Violent Ends, and this is by like all of these authors. It's from 17 points of view. This is also about school shooting. I just find those interesting, not like fun interesting, but like I don't know. I just something intrigues me. I also have a book about Columbine too, so I don't know. Now, The Sweetness of Forgetting by Kristen Harmel. This was a book recommended to me on Goodreads and it was on Book Outlet for like two bucks, so I got it. <laughs> Five to One by Holly Bodger. This is about 
I think like a future where there are five boys to every one girl, so they have to fight for the girls. Um, I saw this on Books and Lala's channel. She's my favorite uh, booktuber. I'll link her review of this book down below so you can see if you want to read it or not. But I thought it was interesting. This is All That Followed by Gabriel Urza. This was on the 50 for 50 on Book Outlet and I love the cover so I bought it. This book is called Enough by Gabrielle Giffords. Our fight to keep America safe from gun violence. If you don't know, Gabby Giffords was a senator, I believe, who was shot while she was doing like a meet and greet at uh, outside of like, a grocery store. And I, I don't want to get it political, but I'm very strong about finding a solution for the gun violence problem in America. And when I worked at Barnes and Noble, I always wanted to buy this, but it's like 25 bucks. But I got it on Book Outlet for pretty cheap. That's not this is not part of my book club, it's a great book, so I'm going to share it anyway. It's called Hope, a memoir of survival in Cleveland by Amanda Berry and Gina DeJesus. So if you don't know, I live in Ohio, I live in Columbus, and these two girls, and Michelle Knight, who I also read her book too, were taken captive when they were really young, and they were just found a few years ago. So this book was released last year, maybe the year before, and that was last year, like last May. And I read this in like two days. It's so heartbreaking, it's so good. Anyway, not part of the book club, I just recommend it. I found Wildflower by Drew Barrymore on Book Outlet for about seven bucks. I was really excited, this book is really, really pretty. If you've never seen it, that's what it looks like. So I'm reading this right now, it's just a dust jacket. I also found Dreams from My Father by Barack Obama, who is the President of the United States. I'm a huge fan of his, I think he's a great president. I can't, I don't even want to think about when he leaves, who's going to take his place, hopefully not Trump, anyway. Um, I'm really excited to read this and learn more about him and his life. The book I got is The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot. Um, this is a woman, her like cells out of her like, uterus I think were taken without asking her, but she's like saved a bunch of lives because of it. I'm really interested to read this. Next I have Coraline by Neil Gaiman. If you don't know what that is, look it up. The movie's great. Really creepy though. I have um, Paper Towns by John Green. This is the UK cover, I think. I think it's a really pretty cover. I like it better than the US cover. I don't know where my copy is, but I'll put it like right here-ish. Um, this is the UK cover. I think it fits the story a lot better than the US cover. And I saw it at half price of books, so I picked it up. Oh my god. Um, Still Alice by Lisa Genova in really, really great quality. Ooh, what's that? Here's a picture. The Ice Storm of 09. Look at that. There's another one. This would be some good bookmarks, but anyway. This book is in really good condition. It was $2. I was really excited. So I bought it. About the thrift store Love and Other Foreign Words by Aaron McCahan. I've seen kind of mixed reviews about this, but it was two bucks, so I picked it up. The next one of my most like exciting, like, used purchases I found is Blue Lily, Lily Blue by Maggie Steve Otter. I just started the Raven Boys, the Raven Cycle. I just finished Raven Boys yesterday, so now I'm reading the Dream Thieves. Um, oh, I dropped it. But I found this for about half off at Half Price Books. Big surprise, Half Price Books. Awesome. If you don't know about the series, I also found about this from Books and Lala. I'll just link her channel. You can just go watch all her videos. They're great. I have P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. This is the sequel to All the Boys I Love Before, which I don't actually own. I've never read, but this was on Book Outlet, so I got it now because I know I want to read this series. The Nightingale by Chris and Hannah. This is actually a signed copy. Let me show you. So it's got a signature page there. I actually didn't pay for a signed one. I got it on Book Outlet, and they had a signed one for like 14 bucks. They had a regular one for 7 I ordered the $7 one, but I got a signed one, and I'm okay with that, and I'm excited to read this. Boom. So from book outlet is Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. Never read a Sophie Kinsella, but everyone seems to love this book, so I'll read it. So I have Something Real by Heather Demetrios. This is about a girl who is on like a reality show, kind of like 19 Kids and Counting, and it's like her life after that, I think. Not sure, but I'm intrigued. I like the cover a lot. The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. Also love this color. God. Color, cover a lot, so I'm excited to read this one. I'm excited to read all. I don't know why I say that after every book. I'm excited to read this. Of course, you're excited to read it. You wouldn't have bought it. Anyway, okay. The last three. No! <sighs> the last three sets of books I have are all series. I'm just gonna kind of like put them together. What I got is The Lunar Chronicles, the first three books. I got Cinder, Scarlet. And Cress, all from Book Outlet. The second series I got, I know nothing about, but the books are called Dissonance and Resonance. I thought they were really pretty. I have a problem. <laughs> the very last series and the last books I have to share in this haul are the Anna and the French Kiss series. So I have Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, 
and Isla and the Happily Ever After. And these covers are so pretty. The new American covers are disgusting. Like, they just make me think of like a cheesy thing you'd read in like, like elementary school. I'll put them here. They're disgusting. I hate them. These are beautiful. I love these. The ombre and these. These suck. So that is it. That's everything I got in April slash a little bit of March. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to aim more about these books, I'm going to link my Goodreads and you can go look at reviews and all that shebang. So thanks for watching. Bye!